Mayor Eric Adams of New York City has been over and over again blaming this influx of migrants, their migrant crisis, on Greg Abbott of Texas because he has been sending or busing migrants to sanctuary cities. And Eric Adams isn't the only one. It's also the mayor of Denver. It's also the mayor of Chicago. I'm sure there's a few more that I'm just not remembering at the moment. They've been blaming this on the red states that are sending all of these migrants up, conveniently forgetting that the person who essentially opened up our border is our current president. The ones who have been calling on him to close the border are those said red states. Uh, they've had no avail doing that. So after a few years of them just absorbing the entirety of the problem they said you know what we're gonna start sending them to sanctuary cities they're the ones calling themselves sanctuary saying that everybody's welcome here so here we go we're running out of resources maybe they can help this is the united states of america right well as soon as they started doing that the mayor started crying uncle but instead of actually calling on joe biden to close the border which would fix all of it they instead blame it on the boogeyman craig avitt well, a study just came out. The corresponding article is the New York Post. You can find it online, read it for yourself. A study just came out for the Center for Immigration Studies, haha. <laughs> and it said that of the migrants that came to New York City, so all the migrants that have come that we know of are about 170,000 that have showed up in New York City. You can see why the mayor is calling it a crisis. Uh, since they have showed up in the city, they have bankrupted um, tons of social services. They've had to cut sanitation, library, all services to New York citizens. Uh, they're staying in hotels under the taxpayers' dimes. They're getting free healthcare, free childcare. He just handed out free debit cards free debit cards for them to go and spend at the bodegas, um, but they're only supposed to spend it on food and baby supplies. Although there's no way to check that. We just have to, you know, pinky promise that we're gonna spend it on what we tell you we're gonna spend it on, right? So the city is just delving into chaos, not to mention all of the military aged men who have no jobs and just nothing to do during the day. It ain't good. Go visit New York City yourself and let me know. But again, uh, Mayor Eric Adams constantly blames it on Greg Abbott. So this study came out and said that of the 170,000 uh, illegal immigrants that have come to New York City, only 25% of them were bussed up by Greg Abbott. So that's about 37 thousand people the rest of their the rest of them came through other means and it gets better not only is only tw are only 25 percent of them because of greg abbott about 33,000 were directly flown in by joe biden and here's what i mean by that so the department of homeland security started approving people that wanted to claim asylum they could essentially just fly in directly from their country and U.S. tax dollars will pay for it. So that's what happened in a lot of these cases. Now, this was approved by the Department of Homeland Security. This is made aware of by Biden. I would imagine Eric Adams would have to be aware of that. So Greg Abbott sends up 30, 37,000. Joe Biden sends in 33,000. The rest of those uh, illegal immigrants came on their own recognizance. Now you ask yourself, why would they go to New York City? That's far away from the border. The border's down there. Don't you know geography? Yes, I do, kind of. But uh, when you have policies like sanctuary policies, when you're saying, if you come here, we're gonna take care of you. We're gonna give you a free hotel room. We're gonna give you uh, money every month, free childcare, free healthcare, three meals a day, everything you could ever want. Oh, and you get to be in the Big Apple. How exciting is that? You, you have to ask yourself, gee, I wonder why all of these people are risking their lives, leaving their families, leaving their countries to come over our borders. So the same ones that are on television, crying uncle who refused to call on Joe Biden to close the border, who are attempting to gaslight their entire population and say that it's all because of the evil uh, Greg Abbott man. In reality, they are the ones that are creating and continuing to implement the very policies that are attracting people to make that dangerous trek over the border. And what do we know about the people that come over our border and claim asylum? Most of them are economic migrants. 
most of them do not even have legitimate asylum claims. So you have these mayors making these policies, uh, enticing people not only to put their lives on the line, but to commit asylum fraud on the taxpayers. And it gets even better. Uh, two, two more things for you that you're going to want to hear about those flights. The first thing about those flights that are going into New York City, the New York City taxpayers are paying for that. You can double check me. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I read that in the article. So if you read that article, look. Uh, but if they're not paying for it, guess who is? Federal taxpayers. So essentially, we are all paying for it. And it gets better. Not just that. Not only are they paying for that. Keep in mind, people are moving out of New York in record numbers because it's so dang expensive. Oh, and they just passed congestion pricing. They just passed congestion pricing to make life even more miserable and expensive for the citizens, uh, but we're giving more free things to migrants. Cool. So not only that, and this part is actually not so fun, not only that, a, a Haitian migrant man was just apprehended by police. He committed a very serious crime against a minor. This person was on one of those flights. It was a man from Haiti and Joe Biden flew him directly from Haiti to John F. Kennedy Airport, I believe, in New York City. So that was one of the people that came on on the flights that the taxpayers paid for. The child was 14, so I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Off.